Welcome to Bliss Bound Travels, where every journey brings you a step closer to paradise. Montenegro, a tiny Balkan nation punching far above its weight in beauty, is a place where dramatic coastlines collide with rugged mountains, creating a landscape as captivating as it is diverse. Steeped in rich history and blessed with an abundance of natural wonders, Montenegro offers something for everyone, from sun worshipers seeking pristine beaches to adventurous souls craving outdoor thrills. Now that you're enticed, let's dive into 10 of the best places to visit in Montenegro. Before starting, make sure to subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon to stay updated on future content. Let's begin with number 10, Biogradska Gora National Park. Nestled within Montenegro's rugged mountainous interior, lies Biogradska Gora National Park, a UNESCO biosphere reserve and a haven for nature enthusiasts. Encompassing one of Europe's last primeval forests, the park is a majestic tapestry dominated by towering beech and spruce trees that have stood for centuries. A meticulously maintained network of trails winds beneath the emerald canopy, inviting exploration of this unique ecosystem teeming with biodiversity. Diverse flora and fauna flourish here, with sightings of elusive deer, wild boars, and over 200 bird species a distinct possibility. Biograd Lake, a glacial gem nestled within the park's heart, reflects the surrounding splendor. Visitors seeking tranquility can enjoy fishing on the lake's glassy surface or simply commune with the serenity of nature. Biogradska Gora National Park offers a truly unforgettable glimpse into Montenegro's wild soul. At number 9, Lovkin National Park. Renowned as Montenegro's crown jewel, Lovsin National Park is a breathtaking natural wonderland that spreads across Mount Lovsin, the country's second highest mountain range following Dermater. This park, established in 1952, is a mere 50 kilometers away from the bustling coast offering a refreshing escape into the embrace of nature. History buffs will find themselves enthralled by the park's centerpiece, the mausoleum of Petr II Petrovich Njegos, Montenegro's most revered poet and ruler. Built atop a mountain peak at an elevation of 1,657 meters, the mausoleum, adorned with a captivating chapel, is a national treasure offering panoramic vistas that stretch across the entire country on a clear day. Hikers can conquer the 461 steps leading to the mausoleum for unparalleled views, while those seeking a less strenuous adventure can drive the scenic mountain road that winds its way up. Lovkin National Park is a treasure trove of biodiversity, boasting an abundance of flora and fauna, including lynxes, wild boars, and over 130 bird species. The park's unique ecosystem also supports a wealth of medicinal herbs, making it a haven for nature enthusiasts and those seeking a breath of fresh mountain air. At number eight, Ostrog Monastery. Jutting dramatically from a cliff face in Montenegro, Ostrog Monastery is a site that inspires awe. This revered Serbian Orthodox monastery, carved into the rock itself in the 17th century, is a pilgrimage destination not just for Orthodox believers, but for people of all faiths. Dedicated to St. Basil of Ostrog, a revered bishop known for his piety and healing powers, the monastery consists of two parts. The upper monastery perched high on the cliff and the lower monastery nestled below. The upper monastery houses the saint's relics, a focal point for pilgrims seeking blessings or expressing gratitude. Visitors should dress modestly out of respect for the religious significance of the site. The journey to the monastery itself is an experience. A steep climb from the lower monastery, suitable for those with moderate fitness, offers stunning views of the Bielopavlici plain stretching out below. Reaching the top and witnessing the unique architecture nestled within the cliff is a reward in itself. Ostrog Monastery is a powerful symbol of faith and a testament to Montenegro's rich cultural heritage. At number seven, Lake Skadar, a crown jewel of Montenegro, is both a nature lover's paradise and a haven for bird watchers. This vast freshwater lake, the largest in all of Balkan Peninsula, stretches across the border with Albania. Surrounded by dramatic karst mountains, the lake's surface shimmers turquoise and transforms in size throughout the year. 
Winter rains swell the lake to an impressive 530 square kilometers, while summer sun dips it to a still respectable 370 square kilometers. The Montenegrin portion of the lake is encompassed within Skadar Lake National Park, protecting this haven for over 260 bird species. These feathered residents include pelicans, cormorants, and rare Dalmatian pelicans, making the lake a designated important bird area. Boat tours offer a chance to witness this avian spectacle while cruising past water lilies and exploring the charming fishing villages dotting the lake's shores. Lake Skadar beckons with its natural beauty, biodiversity, and rich cultural heritage. At number six, Budva. Budva enchants visitors with its dual identity, a charming historic town and a buzzing beach resort. Encircled by medieval walls, Budva's old town is a labyrinth of narrow cobblestone streets lined with terracotta roofed houses. Explore historic sites like the Citadel, a 15th century fortress offering panoramic views, or the Church of Santa Maria in Punta, dating back to the 9th century. Art enthusiasts can admire contemporary Montenegrin works in galleries tucked away amidst the cafes and boutiques. Step outside the walls and Budva's other side unfolds. Stretches of golden sand beaches like Mogren and jazz entice sunbathers, while clear turquoise waters beckon snorkelers and divers. Budva transforms come nightfall, with a vibrant nightlife scene pulsating from bars and clubs lining the marina. Whether you crave historical immersion, sun-soaked relaxation, or energetic nightlife, Budva caters to your every whim. At number five, Perast. Perast a gem on the Bay of Kotor, boasts a rich history and an undeniably picturesque charm. This miniature town, nestled between soaring mountains and the sparkling bay, is a visual feast. Venetian-era palaces adorned with intricate stonework line the waterfront, whispering tales of Perest's maritime past. Stroll the calm promenade, admiring the reflections of Baroque churches and terracotta-roofed houses dancing on the water's surface. Two captivating islets steal the show, Our Lady of the Rocks, a charming church atop an artificial island built by sailors over centuries, and St. George's Monastery, a secluded sanctuary resting on a natural island. Boat trips whisk visitors to these intriguing landmarks, offering a glimpse into Perast's maritime heritage. Perast isn't just about historical intrigue, it's a place to unwind, savor fresh seafood at waterfront restaurants, soak up the sun on a secluded pebble beach, or simply relax with a gelato, mesmerized by the mesmerizing beauty of the bay. At number four, Dermodur National Park. Dermodur National Park, a UNESCO World Heritage Site and Montenegro's crown jewel, is a playground for outdoor adventurers. Towering limestone peaks pierce the sky, their jagged flanks beckoning hikers and climbers to conquer them. Bobatov Kuk, Montenegro's highest peak, is a challenging but rewarding climb, offering breathtaking panoramic vistas. Carved by glaciers, the park is dotted with 18 glacial lakes, each a pristine jewel reflecting the surrounding mountains. Black Lake, the largest, is a popular spot for swimming, boating, and kayaking amidst dramatic scenery. Dermator isn't just about peaks and lakes. Canyons like Navidio carve through the landscape, inviting thrill seekers for canyoning adventures. During winter, the park transforms into a skier's paradise with slopes suitable for all levels. Dermator National Park promises an unforgettable adventure. Whether you crave heart-pounding hikes, refreshing dips in glacial lakes, or exhilarating winter sports. At number three, Sveti Stefan. Sveti Stefan, synonymous with Montenegrin glamour, is a captivating islet transformed into a luxurious resort. Once a fortified village guarding Budva from pirates, Sveti Stefan is now a car-free haven accessible by a narrow causeway. Stroll along charming cobblestone streets lined with ochre-colored stone houses, remnants of the island's fishermen past. Peek into the luxurious Aman Sveti Stefan Resort, occupying most of the island, and imagine yourself lounging on its exclusive pink sand beach. While the resort itself is only accessible to guests, the public beach adjacent to the causeway offers stunning views of the islet and the turquoise Adriatic Sea. Sveti Stefan isn't just about exclusivity, it boasts historical intrigue too. 
Atop the island sits the 15th century church of St. Stephen, a charming landmark worth exploring. For a touch of local flavor, venture outside the causeway to restaurants lining the mainland, serving fresh seafood with a breathtaking backdrop of Sveti Stefan. This unique islet offers a glimpse into Montenegro's luxurious side, steeped in history and natural beauty. Number two on the list of 10 best places to visit in Montenegro is the Bay of Kotor. Nicknamed Europe's southernmost fjord, the Bay of Kotor is a dramatic natural wonder in Montenegro. Imagine a snaking inlet carved by glaciers, its deep blue waters cradled by towering limestone cliffs. Dotting the coastline are charming towns steeped in history, their Venetian architecture whispering tales of a bygone era. Kotor, the crown jewel, boasts a maze of cobblestone streets, a formidable city wall, and the stunning Cathedral of Saint Trifon. Perest, a miniature town, boasts enchanting Venetian palaces and two captivating islets, Our Lady of the Rocks, a church on an artificial island, and St. George's Monastery. Boat trips are a must, allowing you to delve into the bay's maritime heritage and witness these iconic landmarks up close. The Bay of Kotor isn't just about sightseeing, it's a haven for relaxation swim or sunbathe on pebble beaches, kayak through tranquil coves, or savor fresh seafood at waterside restaurants. This dramatic bay offers a taste of Montenegro's beauty, history, and relaxed coastal charm. Finally, at number one, Kotor. Kotor, a fortified town bathed in history and romance, is the crown jewel of Montenegro's Bay of Kotor. Encircled by dramatic Venetian walls, Kotor's Old Town is a maze of narrow, cobbled streets lined with terracotta-roofed buildings. Get lost in its charm, stumbling upon historical gems like the Romanesque Cathedral of St. Trifon or the Maritime Museum, housed in a charming 18th-century palace. Climb the city walls for a breathtaking panorama of the bay and the surrounding mountains. Kotor's heart beats in Piazza of Arms, a lively square lined with cafes and restaurants perfect for people watching and soaking up the atmosphere. Beyond the walls, discover the Bay of Kotor itself. Join a boat trip to explore hidden coves and witness the unique islet Our Lady of the Rocks, a charming church built over centuries. Kotor is a living, breathing museum where history and natural beauty intertwine. Whether you're a history buff or a seeker of stunning scenery, Kotor will leave you spellbound. So there you have it our top 10 picks for incredible places to visit in Montenegro. With its stunning scenery, rich history, and vibrant culture, Montenegro is a hidden gem waiting to be explored. What are you waiting for? Start planning your Montenegrin adventure today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more travel content. And let us know in the comments below what your favorite spot in Montenegro is or where you'd most like to visit.